Thanks for joining us for another episode of Coin Collecting by www.coinsofcanada.ca. This is episode number 114, and today we're looking at dimes. So Canadian dimes, specifically we're going to look like look at an Edward coin and a George V and a George VI coin. So these are the last three kings that appeared on Canadian coinage. So the first one we'll look at, that's this one here. This is a 1910 Canadian dime. So I'll flip it over to the back here. And there is Edward VII, who appeared on Canadian coinage from 1902 to 1910. This is a sterling silver coin. So this series used 92.5% silver. It actually been doing so since 1870. So there's 4.4 million of these minted back in 1910. So this one here just came into the shop. It's not up for sale yet. Um, really nice coin. Nice edge toning on this one. At glance here, I would say this is an EF40, or as they say in America, XF40, extra fine. We think in Canada here that extra starts with an E, so we say EF, and in America they say XF. Potato, potato. Anyways, really nice coin. Book value on this one is $65. The next one that we'll look at is a 1932 Canadian dime. A little bit of a spot there of toning, just right up there, but nothing major. That just happens with silver, it oxidizes, you'll find toning spots. You can see there's a little bit of edge toning on this one as well. Just around the edge there, it's a little bit darker. There's a, a shade of blue up here. Quite nice. And on the back, we've got some really interesting toning. I mean, it almost looks like somebody took a paintbrush of tone and splashed on the king's portrait there. Really interesting. So this is King George V. He appeared on Canadian coins from 1911 and finished up in 1936. This is 80% silver. The entire George V series is 80% silver. There's 1.1 million of these minted. So again, I would say this one is probably an EF40 as well. Book value on an EF40 is $50. And this one here, lots of luster on that one. This is a 1940 Canadian dime. So they went from this style, which they finished up in 1936 on the left, to the one on the right that started in 1937, which is when King George VI took over. He got a bit of a facelift, not only on the portrait side, but also on the reverse here. So again, the entire King George VI series, 1937 to 1952, was 80% silver as well. So that's why we're seeing a little bit of toning on this one as well. There's 16 million of these made back in 1940. This one's really nice. I would say that it's probably an AU55 at glance, which would have a book value of $15. I like dimes and I usually su suggest them to beginning collectors because they're fairly inexpensive. Um, these two EFs you'll see, I mean there's lots of detail left on the back here. You can still see the king's crown and you really get an idea of what the coin looked like when it was new. So fairly inexpensive options here. We will typically sell these ones probably I would say for maybe 25% less than book value. 
Great value on Canadian dimes. Thanks for joining. Happy collecting.